what's up guys it's vlogmas day 12 so right now i am with kevin in the garage and he's cleaning out our car because he's gonna do walmart deliveries <laughs> he doesn't want to work for the man <laughs> and I tell you it's, it's a lot more challenging than you realize a lot more challenging a lot more stuff you have to put up with i told him he to was deal. not ready for this 1099 life <laughs> it's, yeah it sucks and that's our introduction kendall hey boo she wanted to know how we met so oh, we're lord. gonna do that too but we're gonna do it a little later yeah <laughs> i said oh lord i'm like uh <laughs> he's a mess why don't you want to tell the world how you met your yeah, wife wow <laughs> whole other stage all of the time <laughs> Yeah. yeah yeah so shout out to you girl and i'll look on the um last video to see if he said anything else before we start okay love you bye oh. this is the only time he likes the car is when it's not moving so he's he's all about the life right now but when it's moving he starts screaming <laughs> While he's doing all that, I'm about to take a soak in the tub. My leg is hurting me right now. So, that's what we have to do. I mean, not we as in us. We as in me. What's up, guys? You need to get in the frame. Um, I'm in the frame. That the dog got in the table trying to yeah, he wants a block as usual. He wants we, got the food. we got Taco Bell, and we're going to tell you about when we met. I don't know. Did we do a video on this before? I feel like we did. All right, I don't know. Not that I recall. Um, okay, so way back in a magical land in 1999, <laughs> um, I was with a group of my friends and we were going out for the evening. Um, I didn't want to go. She kept forcing me to go. She's like, come on, go. But one of her friends had just got word that someone in his family had passed away. And I felt like weird because he's back there by himself crying and we're going out to a club. And she's like, ah, oh, he's going to be all right. But I just met him that night. But I already felt this weird obligation. Like, we need to stay with him. And, um, yeah. And I felt like we needed to stay with him, but she was like, he's going to be fine. He'll be all right. He'll be all right. And I was like, okay, well, I didn't know him. So I guess, you know, he'll be all right. So we ended up in TJ at, what club was that? Uh, it was called Club Excess at the time. Club Excess. Yeah. And um, I got really, really, really drunk that night. Like really drunk that night. And he's going to tell his side of the backstory before he got to the club. No, oh, before I got to the club, um, me and two of my my ship buddies because i used to be in the navy and we were we used to have this thing where we worked our butts off all week as our ship was in the yards at the time of being heavily worked on so we wouldn't have to see it all so we, we made a deal we would just hey weekends would be our time and we'd go out so on that weekend we ended up going to the club over there um in club excess across it was across the border in Mexico. The side um, of Mexico I know. I don't know about this other side. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was the location was uh, was a T, yeah, Tijuana, Mexico. Which Tijuana. Was, it was right along. At that time you can just, at that time you can just cross over. That night, you know, I was like, okay. And I had quite a few drinks myself. <laughs> and, um, at, at, you know, at that particular time, I was, you know, I would just go there and have a few drinks, blow off some steam, and then jump back across the border with my friends and then head back to the ship. I was walking around, a few drinks, and, and I saw her standing there, and I was like, hey, you want to dance? And, no. <laughs> and, no. Is that what you said first? Yeah, I did. Really? <laughs> I remember saying that, and we, then she, she just laid one on me. I was like, what is going on here? And then later on, we would just, we had... You know, later on we were just talking. I only stayed like together after that yeah. the whole time. Like we were together the rest of the yeah. for the time until we left. Did we leave at closing? I think we left at towards closing, and then um, you gotta catch the buses we, at a certain time. Yeah, she yeah you, you <laughs> caught a bus down there. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! I got a bus down she there. She caught a bus. Yeah, we we what did we do? We went from Living Grove to um, TJ. Yeah. Well, okay. I don't think we. I don't think I rolled in the car at that time. I think we, we, we had the luxury of the trolley, literally, at the train. 
literally when we crossed the border the train the last train was like at three or four four o'clock or four or five o'clock in the morning at that time yeah. and you jump on the train and you um you take the train take, down to it the takes base. you back right to the base and you walk back home and her house was by the train too so it was kind of it was real convenient so mm -hmm. um that night yeah we talked all night and then uh, she had a lot on her mind and we i ended up I don't know what it was. I mean, random stuff. It, it was, was just random. It was a random, random, thing it was was random things. And because I had my birth certificate on me, and he asked me why I carry that. Yeah, I was like, why do you carry your birth certificate? And I thought it was kind of strange. After like, we left and departed, I had to show them I had a, that I was U.S. So. Because she had, yeah, she would have issues trying to cross the border. That's why she had to carry her birth certificate to prove that she was actually a U.S. citizen. This has been happening since I was nine. Itself. Yeah, it wasn't it's, even it's like crazy. it wasn't that isolated. It, just, it happened since I was nine. I was with my family. I felt like I looked like my family, but that moment let me know that I did not. But um, yeah, they kept stopping me. And then later on, I was like, Ugh, just bring it. Yeah. So, well, we talked about random sh like the whole time. The random stuff, and then uh, she. I ended up. I don't know to this day. I was like I. I felt like she wasn't going to talk to me after that day, so I ended up swapping, <laughs> I had my freaking, my class ring. Class ring, he didn't class know me from ring. anybody. I didn't know from nobody, and I was like... He did not know me. That, that night, after you got finished talking, and her friend came around and talked to me a minute, and... Uh, she talked to you? Yeah, she was like, hey, my name is... My, you want me to say her name on on thing? Or? She said, my name is Sean, and I'm, with, you know, touring my friend. Blah, blah. She introduced herself to me. Wow. First time I met her. And then, um, it's crazy. Years later, she reconnected with us. Mm -hmm. And she couldn't believe we were still together. Mm -hmm. So, so, she thought that was a trip, but. Everybody does. Yeah. And then, so, I gave her my ring. For some reason, I said, hey, you know, I'm thinking, about, so she's never going to see me again. I bet you, after the night, she'll be gone. But for some reason, it was like. I don't, I gotta make sure she, you know, we meet up again, and then I ended up, we ended up exchanging rings. I, no, I don't feel like I exchanged rings. Like I know I was out of it, but I don't know that I just willingly gave it up. I feel like he slipped his off and put it on my finger, and then he took mine. That's what I feel like happened. I don't feel like I. <laughs> That's probably what happened. I don't remember. I have to. I mean, I just remember her having calling me the next day trying to get her ring back, mm -hmm. and she's like, "Hey, you can meet me downtown so we can get the ring." Well, first I made sure he got home safe, okay, people. I'm not rude or heartless. I told him to text me, not text me. What was the call back then? Beat me, page, page me. me. <laughs> yeah, um, when he got home safe, so mm -hmm. that I knew that he was safe. But I do that with everybody I depart from. And um, then we met up downtown, and I kept trying to get my ring on back and this man like i don't know i felt like i would at first i felt like when i was sober you know what i'm saying i'm like you just give your ring to everybody like you just be going and giving your room ring to people and he's like that's the first time i ever did that but yeah, the first time I would you guys that. believe that would you really believe that some guy you met in a club just randomly gave you his ring and then you don't think it's his first time he ever did that in his whole entire life it seemed like something that he was doing every weekend <laughs> Not by a long shot. <laughs> that's what he said. Okay. Yeah. That's so what I he mean, said. Yeah, that was that was crazy. I, yeah, you were trying to get the ring back, and I wouldn't. I wouldn't give it back to her. Excuse me. I was like, I don't think what. Yeah, I wouldn't. I need to give No, it back. no. I eventually like I gave him this long hug, and I took my ring back, and but I still had his. <laughs> because it was around my neck. But you jumped on the bus. Yep, and I left. And she laughed. I mean, what kind of what? I'm just crazy. So she got her ring back. I didn't get mine. Mm 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 mm. Hold on, the battery's gonna go. Uh, All right, we're using Kimana's battery now. Third time you charm. <sighs> yeah. So. Um. Yeah. It was the ring. Okay. Yeah. So I ended up taking. I had both of our rings at this point because. Um, for, he wasn't taking back his ring and I just wanted mine back but I was planning I kept trying to meet up with him so that he can get his ring back but he kept prolonging the situation to not get his ring back yeah so I don't know what that was about <laughs> Yeah, her prolonging it. <laughs> yeah, um, he kept on like every time I was like, "You want to get your ring back, or let's exchange," or he would be like, "No, no, no." And each time we would just hang out and we would kick it like for 
all night and then he wouldn't take his ring back and then when did you finally get it back? I don't remember. <laughs> this ring situation was pretty much what kept us seeing each other over and over again. He knew yeah. what he knew what he was doing, okay? And his friends was like, that's the girl from the club? Like, you still with that girl from the yeah, club? Yeah, years later. Yeah. His mom was like, we used to kick it. He was like, you still with her? And Luna? He was like, wow, man, what? He was shocked. Yeah. But he was shocked. Because they were like, when we met, they were like, you're not supposed to be meeting. I mean, I understood. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Like meeting girls from the club. And he doesn't, like, they don't know what kind of person I am. But I wasn't the type of person that was out here looking for benefits or anything like that. I was straight. So, <laughs> um, he decided, you know, to. he was pursuing me. It wasn't even the other way around. <laughs> yeah. And every time I try to leave him alone, he would still be like, he wanted to kick it and he'd come around still. And I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? He was cool because he was persistent though. He, he Like he didn't stop. He went after things he wanted for sure. <laughs> he did not stop. So we that's how we ended up together was just his persistence really because I was over it after that. And then I considered him, I was like, I'll kick it with him for the summer. And he was just going to be like my summer boo. And mm -hmm. then, yeah. That lasted until the, what? Well, I mean, it lasted all this time, but we ended up getting pregnant. Like, how long after we met? It was... It was a few months. A few months after. I mean, a few months. I think November. So we met in June. And then she found out she was pregnant in, in November. Well, well I, didn't, I didn't find out I was pregnant until February. but Really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Wow. We found out in February that we were having our daughter. <laughs> wow, I don't remember that. I just remember, maybe I'm going off what the doctor said. Yeah, it was on our paperwork because she was like, do you know your last period? Mm -hmm. I didn't remember it. No, I was having it every month. I was having mm -hmm. my period. This is why I didn't know I was pregnant. I was still having my period or what I thought was my mm -hmm. period for all these and months. And she was on birth control too. Yeah, I was on, I was on birth control. Yeah, I was taking birth control yeah. while I was pregnant. <gasps> I was taking birth. I didn't even think about it right now. Um, so well, you didn't put two and two together because he was on birth control. No, with I didn't our even son. think. I didn't even think about that. He was on birth control. I son also. I was on the shot with him, and I had just got the shot like what two weeks before I got pregnant. Mm. Yeah, so <laughs> my kids wanted to be here, yeah, okay? <laughs> but um, yeah, I was having my period and stuff, and so I uh, didn't know I was pregnant till February. And then they asked me my last period, and I was like, oh, it was just like a week ago. <laughs> and they were like, well, you're measuring at this date, and they gave me November 4th as my conception date. And so that's the date that we, we've we always gone off as was um, November the 4th. Yeah. But I don't know when my last period was. I know, like, in October, I started feeling like, gross about alcohol like I couldn't drink anymore because something was making me feel like sick just smelling it but I also felt like I was drinking too much at that time mm -hmm. so maybe it was just like my body like girl you need to stop but so I stopped drinking in October like late October and he was still going out and partying and doing stuff and I was like what but actually, honestly, after that night, he would still go out and stuff like that. Uh, but after we met, we never went to the club again until he was 28. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> we never went to the club together. He would go out by himself and do his own thing. Y'all see that? That's me and the dogs there. He and Will. Um, I'm going to pop you. Um, so he... So yeah, we found out pretty late about Kimono, but then he was a permanent fixture by then because we was in it to win it. I, <laughs> should we tell them how you found out I was pregnant? <laughs> oh, yeah. Her, yeah, her friend called me. Well, she, he was back home on leave with his family mm -hmm. and um, my friend from high school, she came up to my job and I told her I was feeling kind of weird and this and that and she was like, she already had a kid. So she was like, I think you're pregnant. And I was like, girl, please stop. So on my lunch break, we went over to, cause I worked downtown and there, we went to like a Rite Aid over there and I bought, I believe eight tests. And I just peed on them and she was in the next stall and I just 
shoved them over to her like you know i didn't want to look at it and she was like girl between the two stalls that we were in she was like it turned already it's dark like you're hella pregnant and i'm like what girl stop took another one i'm like that one's defective and i kept on they were all defective okay so <laughs> Finally, I was like, this, this stuff is real. I had all of them in a shoebox under my bed when he came back home. <laughs> oh, wow. And I was like, look. <laughs> he was like, why the f do you have this? Yeah, I was like, what is this? <laughs> but um, it was crazy. Yeah, crazy, so crazy. We had, we had a crazy little beginning because we didn't really know each other. <laughs> no, not at all. We but, definitely get her friend, her her friend, to give us a call and give me a call and say, "Hey, let me in." Well, I, I, I no, I wasn't gonna call him. I'm like, what? I started making plans to move with my great grandmother after I found out I was pregnant. So we were heading to Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> yep. She's gonna go to Chicago. Uh, yeah, my yeah. I was like, no, we're leaving. I can't. Um, mm, nope. And he was like, no, you're not leaving with my child. We're gonna be together. We're gonna be a family. And I was like, oh no, <laughs> I don't even know you like that. I mean, yeah, we spent pretty much every day together. From let's see. Well, first, I he kept asking to come to my house, and I was like, no, that took a while for him to come to my house because. No, then I don't know. We jumped a lot in our relationship because then he was. I was asking my dad if he could sleep over, and he started basically had started staying with us at some point. Yeah, <laughs> I became a fixture in her family. Like, oh, it's Kevin's up. Kevin's here. Okay. And then we found yeah, out that. The chair. Yeah, <laughs> then we found Table. out I was pregnant Kevin's shortly there. after that. So then they were not even tripping because they were like, he's he's part of the family. He already got her pregnant, yeah. so. It's a dun -da -da. and yeah. Yeah, we had the we had a round table discussion. We did with her parents and when when I you know, when we got a figure we were both she was nineteen and I was twenty at the time, so her parents was like, What are the plans? What's going on? What's gonna happen? And Yeah, looking back around, at that was like, pretty dope we having said, that talk. Yeah, know? we had to talk around their, their in her their room. Their room. Yeah, and they were I mean they were calm. They were actually pretty they cool. They were pretty calm. <laughs> cool. I mean, not, I mean, it's crazy because, like, we always joke around because her dad was... What? He was 36. He was 36 at the time. So we're, like, all of us who are not that far as far as age go, goes. So it was like, wow, okay. Well, he was, ooh, he was 36 when I had her. He was 35 when I got pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> and so it's it was one of, it's one of those things where, you know, I'm glad that we had that support there initially and they didn't I mean, it was like oh wow okay he's part of us now okay yeah and it was one of those things so yeah they were really like I, I was scared to tell my mom I waited until I got to work to tell her because I didn't know how she was gonna react I didn't know anything I didn't know how my dad was gonna react like it was just crazy but yeah. they were pretty like calm about it they were pretty cool about it um, another question Kendall had was about having a successful marriage and how to have a successful marriage and I really don't know. <laughs> yeah, we're still, still working on life stuff. So yeah, it's part yeah. Of, it's part of the process, you know? Yeah, um, I wish I knew the answer to that. I know a lot of it stems from communication and um, uh, where we communicate differently. So sometimes yeah. it's very hard, you know what I mean? I'm a person that needs my space when I'm like upset and stuff, and he's a person that needs to handle it right then and there. Yeah, I'm very so, resistant about handling a problem like that. And I'm like, let me get to handle this now. And she's like, and listen, it's best to just. Yeah, you don't want me to these, blow up. Then come back when everybody's about, you know, at level zero, <laughs> not yeah. level ten. Yeah. Zero. Because I don't so, want to blow up and say things, you know, that I yeah. don't mean. So I just like to take that time just to think about it and try to see where he was coming yeah. from on his side, because that it does help me. But yeah, no, and, and no, it does, because she comes back. She's like, listen, you know, I thought about this, this, and this, and then we come together and we talk it out. And I think I honestly feel like that's a better. I honestly <laughs> I just feel like didn't so, see. yeah, he's he's been. <laughs> something i honestly feel like that's a better approach as far as you know and and, we, and plus we we're starting you know we're getting older now so we like we don't i feel like why are you going to raise your blood pressure for what you no know what i mean so high. it's not yeah so you, you know you, you know after a while you kind of you know you realize the argument and stuff like that is unnecessary 
You should be able to just talk and be like this. I've been trying to tell him that since I met the yeah, dude. He I was mean, a explosive mofo when I first met him. Like he, everything yeah, I didn't was, know anything about communication. I didn't come from that. You he know, wanted to it, argue about everything. And everything I'm like, let's done. talk. And she's like, why are you arguing? Like, like why are you point? yelling? Let's talk. And then when after everything was said and done, after so much time, she's like, listen, all you have to say was this. Yeah. And it's something simple. I'm like, oh, I didn't yeah. know. And I mean, and that I thought that's how you you communicate because that's why that's what I saw. I can say one tip honestly, and what I've learned just being married is you have to love people through their childhood traumas because honestly, there's a lot of damage that gets done in childhood. And both mine and his, you know, household, we had different situations, but you know. Yeah. You do have to love people through that kind of stuff because it does come back if it's not dealt with already. You know yeah, I didn't I mean? know. I didn't know. Like I saw when in my household they were arguing and, and screaming and I internalized it. And then when I came to her He was and yelling and screaming. I was screaming and yelling and she's like, Why are you screaming and yelling? Why are you at a ten? We could just have a simple conversation. Exactly. And, and it would like, start off like that. That's the part a, that I didn't like. And I'm like hundred. She's like, uh oh. Like we you didn't escalate; it just be like, like that. <laughs> you don't have to be so elevated. Like, yeah. And after a while, I'm like, you know, after t it took me a long time, and and she had to talk to me repeatedly. Hey, you need to bring it down and have a conversation. It doesn't need to be at level ten. When it comes to level zero, and we handle it and we keep it moving. And then I think that's a way better approach now. Mm -hmm. I think, um, you know, so just learning to to, to have better communication. Which is very important. Um, that is definitely it. I it's think very, it's very important. The most um, important part also yeah. is acknowledging each other's wants and needs in the relationship because oftentimes um, you can go without your needs being met because you're not communicating them. So I think that's pretty important as well. You know, being able to be open and honest with your partner because we're pretty open and honest with each other. I mean, to the point that sometimes. It's you know, it's not pretty, it's, you know, <laughs> but I'm pretty, op I'm honest with him. How honest are you with me? Let me be honest with you. He picks his words really, like, wisely and stuff like that when he's trying to talk to me, and I usually just blurt things out, but, um... I mean, you, you gotta learn, I mean, I've learned after years of not properly, I mean, I first came to San Diego, I didn't know how to talk to nobody. He didn't. And I had to be schooled so many times by different individuals. When I oh, when I did. came, when I was in the Navy, and I had did it on different people, and they say, what? I had to say things off the top of my head. And I had so many different people had to talk to me and say, hey, you gotta be careful. Watch who you're talking to, watch what you say, because you can't just say this off the dome. Mm -hmm. You know, so, and I, you know, I had to learn that. So over time, I developed a skill of, you know, watch, choose your words carefully. Be mindful of the person you're speaking to. Understand, take their their feelings into consideration because you don't know what is cool to you is not cool to them. So I just I just learned that because I've had so many different people. Like I've lost friend a friendship over that. So uh, when when I we're just speaking off the top of the head without thinking, mm -hmm. and they're like, "Yo, you have to keep your you know be mindful." I'm like what what? <laughs> you know what I mean? Not everybody's gonna agree, but make sure that you know what you're saying. So, I mean, so it's a it was a lesson learned, you know. But ever since then, I've kind of I've learned the tact of choose your words carefully. What else do you think makes a successful marriage? Just you know, keeping that a special bond going. You know, as as time moves forward, and you know, we're 20 years past the time when we met each other, so. It's you know, you know we have two two kids, two beautiful children that are like the light for us both. So you know, I pretty. can tell you where I went wrong in our relationship, and that was I put my mothering above everything else. Like I I made that the top um, priority most of the time was uh, my being a mom. But I felt like the kids needed me more, and our relationship was, it was, because he was in the military, it was like, he was in and out, and so, mm -hmm. um, yeah. it made it hard, come over here, it made it hard to keep 
establishing like the bond and stuff because he would be in and out and in and out and so I had this schedule with the kids all the time and that stuff stayed the same and so that's where I felt like you know in the, the younger part of our lives you know I could have been more intentional about making time for him even though I feel like I did try but maybe not as much as I could mm -hmm. because I focused on the kids a lot. And, and me, I focus on work too much. <laughs> I work, 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 and more work. And, yeah, uh, we and let I'm, the relationship suffer with things that we were, you know, I mean, our kids obviously are our top priority and, you know, but our relationship should be ranking up there as well. And a lot of times what happened was we let that stuff, like, go to the side and we, um, you know we let our relationship go to the side and filled it with like work and bills and problems and stuff like that and so always make sure that you do put your your relationship on a pedestal because it deserves to rank high up there and you know i look back now and our kids are older and eventually they're going to leave us and we're just going to be with each other and we you know we could have done more for our relationship than what we did we didn't cultivate it the right way so yeah. Um, that's what I should say, baby. <laughs> the dog. <laughs> so. His strategy, his strategy is keep looking, keep staring. If they drop something, I'm running at it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I just keep giving him stuff, yeah. so that's why he's here. Um, yeah, make sure. And also try to keep it spicy, you know what I mean? Like, keep that, that attraction for each other and love for each other going date often because we used to go out on dates every friday night and yeah. we used to date each other like all the time and yeah, we used to have we call it, before we left san diego we used to do margarita fridays like we are both used to you know go full throttle through the week and then uh, friday boom let's go get a go to seaport village in yeah. san diego and take a walk on the boardwalk and just get get a drink yeah and chill out and just relax and i miss I mean, that that was a traditional thing anyway and be prior to just us doing a friday we used to bring the kids down there and you know, have them a stroller and with them a stroller to walk in and then even when they hit teenage years we had them down there we love know. seaport seaport's yeah. beautiful if you yeah. go to san diego go to seaport village yeah. it's beautiful it's by the water yeah, but yeah we date and then we went to viejas every friday it was friday it? Yeah. we had you know even jumping on the bus getting up there yeah, we yeah. had lost our car. Like, we've been through a lot, and we didn't have a car. And honestly, like, during those really, really, really rough times in our relationship, we were at our best. Like, when that, what, what yeah. normally would, like, break people, it made us, like, so much stronger together. You'd be like, are you meeting me at Walmart? And just to, just to be able to have that time just to come home with them mm -hmm. and talk on the bus. And it was pretty cool, honestly. Yeah, I think we, we, had, we did that for a year. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. a year of... Troop, troop, I call it trooping <laughs> on the transit system. Yeah. Hop on the blast bus and get going back up there, and you know. So, looking back at that now, I feel like I mean, during this time where we're going through stuff, I'm like, where did we go wrong? Because normally we pull together mm -hmm. pretty well during those times, but during this last year, it's been like something different between us. Like, we didn't pull together like we should, and it's been kind of like it's been difficult so i don't know a successful marriage is one that at the end of the day you could still like each other on days that you feel like you you really don't like uh, there's days i'm like oh get him away from me but i still like him at the end of the day you know what i mean so he's a cool dude he has his days though honestly Yes, Dave. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have mine too. Yeah, we all do. But he won't say that stuff about me. <laughs> oh, come on. Which makes him a pretty cool dude for that too. But um, I'm just a little too honest. <laughs> nah, that's my homie. He's my ace. It's just we let troubles get in between us and. That's where we effed up. So, Kendall, this video was for you, boo. Uh, thank you for asking us. And I'm sorry if we didn't have an answer for the successful marriage part. But, I mean. We were still working on our stuff. I mean, everything is a process. Everything takes time. Yeah. It's, it's a constant flow. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. So it's very it's very demanding. But yep. we're gonna let you go. This man's tired. Sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Could you please repeat it? What the hell is that? What the hell is happening? He didn't say is that Siri or? Yeah, that was Siri. But why should come on? Did anybody say that? Random. <laughs> Did y'all talk to her? Anyways, we love you guys. Thank you so much for joining us and spending your minutes with us. It's going to be a long one, and the video is about to clip right now. So we love you. Thank you for spending your minutes with us. And we'll see you on Vlogmas Day 13. Bye.